Hello, hello, Duke here from ehmethod.co and in this video I'm going to talk to you about how to cleanse your aura, how to remove negative energies and frequencies. Now first of all I want to give you just the awareness of the landscape as it were because we're in the spiritual world, I've been in this injury for a decade now, makes me feel old, and there's a lot of terms banded about. People talk about um, negative energies, they talk about energy vampires, people talk about having you know, protecting your aura, having a protective bubble, um, opening, closing space, um, aggregals, entities. We're going to cover all of that because, again, as I always say in my videos, I want to empower you and for you to understand what is going on on a spiritual, energetic, physical, mental, emotional level so you can make your own decisions. Because this is my experience working with thousands of clients that you can know these techniques you can do these techniques, but the thing that trips people up is a lack of awareness and a lack of presence. For example, you can be every single day doing an energy share. I'm going to share how to do that. Encasing, in, in enrobing yourself in a bubble of protection. You can do that, and that is good, and that is better than nothing. But what's even more powerful is when you're doing that, you're actually present. You're breathing deeply, you're present in your body, you're visualizing, you're feeling, you're checking in with your other senses, any sensations. And it's better to be present for like 30 seconds than just doing a protective cleansing routine for 5-10 minutes. So let me give you a bit more of the landscape. In this reality, as a soul having a human experience, in this matrix, in this game of polarity consciousness where our soul said... I will come here and experience darkness and ego and fear, which gives us the disparity and the contrast to experience free will and have a choice. There are higher vibrational, higher dimensional beings that have a much more symbiotic experience. The fact we can choose to go against God's will, as it were, to go against nature, to go against flow, to be in ego, to be in fear. So we find ourselves as a soul having a human experience, and I'm sure you have now woken up to the fact that that, is, that feels true, that resonates, that idea that you are a soul. And there are, within this game that we find ourselves in, that we call life, there are aggregals, there are pendulums. What does that mean? There are external energies pressing upon her upon us, wanting to take us away from ourselves, wanting to distract us, wanting to um, slow down, interfere with us being able to feel our truth. Because here's the thing, if every single one of us on this planet just followed our absolute truth in alignment with our soul, this place would be a very different place. The planet would look very different. That's what we have to do. Follow our, our excitement, our highest excitement, follow our joy, follow our passion, and everything else will turn into place but unfortunately there are external energies circumstances individuals that are impacting and influencing your energy and even when you walk down the street don't even have to bump into someone you walk down the street and people look at you acknowledge you sense you on some level your energies are connecting they're creating these almost like thought bubbles these connections between you and especially as I'm sure if you are here, you realize you're more sensitive than the average person. You pick up on more things. You have extra sensory perception. You will feel these things even more. And if you're not being intentional every single day, cleansing your energy, coming back to yourself, opening and closing space, protecting your energy, doing these kind of things, it will be harder to feel your truth. It will be easier for your mind and it, and it will be easier for external extrinsic factors and energies to just influence your life and for you just to move through your life like a zombie rather than you being in alignment with your soul and creating your life. So now I've just said a lot of words. <sighs> take a breath, take that in and I'll explain kind of the pieces. So the kind of bigger external energies are known as pendulums, aggregals. That could even include things like the media, um, big, nasty corporate companies that doesn't necessarily mean they're evil, or they want bad for humanity, but they, they, they don't necessarily want to empower people. They have their own agenda, whatever it might be. 
these different entities and energies, consciousnesses, these kind of big influences are called aggregals or pendulums. Now, all of these are ascribed meanings. You may hear things, different things being called. And then there is this idea of external entities. And it's literally an entity, a consciousness, low vibrational beings or spirits, um, different types of spirits and beings. You could even class demons within that. Energies that are darker, low vibrational, and on some level, they don't want to influence your energy. Um, they, they do want to influence your energy, but it's, it's, it's not just from a place of that's part of your game for you to, can you state your truth, but also their energies are attracted to your energy because they're higher vibrational and everything just wants to find its way back home. And you as a soul having a human experience, they're attracted to your light to get back to source, back to God, back to higher realms. On some level, they're encoded with that process um, in that kind of program. And then coming back to yourself on a human level, everyone you interact with, you're picking up energy, you're connecting each other. So with all that in mind, everywhere you go, really each day it's beautiful to get intentional with cleansing your energy cleansing your aura in different ways now how can you do this you can do it on a very physical level things like palo santo things like sage doing smudging um if you've ever seen a shaman with a feather and they're smudging you and you're clearing your aura that's a very beautiful way easy way to do it because fourth dimension and beyond they can't be around that smoke. They, they don't like it. It keeps them away. It clears your energy. You can open and close space. We teach this within EH Method, how to open and close space properly in many different ways. But I use a combination of kind of esoteric magic, hermetic magic principles, as well as an understanding of shamanic principles, because they're the same, to be honest. But essentially, calling in the different directions, calling your healing team, your guides, your ancestors, whoever's in the highest to be here, but you're, you're acknowledging the infrastructure of this game to the east, fire, and the direction of the east, to the south, water, to the west, air, to the north, earth. So you're, you're connecting to and acknowledging the elements and the directions as well as archangels in those directions as well. Uriel, Raphael, Michael, Gabriel, and I also add in Metatron and Sandalphon to hold all six directions in that way, connecting to God and connecting to Mother Earth. So having some form of practice like that, there are also prayers. Quite a lot of angel card readers will say a prayer, just like, you know, only calling in higher energies, whoever is in the highest to be here, any low vibrational forms, please leave now and return to whatever it might be. So you can say a prayer over the space. But here's the key. Here's the key. Whatever you're doing, whatever way, of, whatever way of doing it that you learn, be intentional, be present. When I call in the directions, I don't just say it. I see the element of fire. I feel in honor and reverence the element of fire as a connection to my ancestors and to that element. When I see the direction of the east, I imagine elemental beings for that direction coming up. When I see Uriel, I see Uriel, I feel the coldness of winter associated with Uriel as well. I see all of that in that direction. I don't just say it. Now saying it can be enough, but I feel the more present you can get, it's even more powerful. Other ways of cleansing your aura, cleansing your field, of course, sound baths, tuning forks, shamanic drums, crystal bowls, gongs, and any, not any, and any kind of music that you really love that feels good to you. I'm not going to get into the difference between 432 and 440 and all that kind of stuff. But essentially stuff that feels good to you. But definitely instruments that resonate with you. Especially those that are often associated with sound baths and healing and shamanic drums. There's a reason they're associated. Try them. Even just getting a shamanic drum and just banging it clears the energy. It's amazing. Tuning forks you can use to clear your energy. Even things like solfregio frequencies, look that up. Listening to that can clear your chakras and clear your energies. So using sound, using music is a really powerful way of cleansing your energy. And of course, getting in nature, you know, getting to the sea. The reason that cleanses your energy is it's almost like 
This is a game, right? It's made up of coding of ones and zeros. And when you go to the ocean, there's a lot of minus atoms flying around and it helps to cleanse your aura, it helps to cleanse your energy. And also the coding in nature is almost like more pure form. It's like the, the, the software program hasn't been messed with yet the way it is in concrete jungles and cities. So getting out in nature can help to cleanse your aura and help you feel good. It's like a reset. You're getting closer to the pure form of the coding of this game, of this holographic universe. And lastly, I'm going to give you a little visualization. Really, really quick. Really, really quick. And I'm going to explain something more after this visualization. So if you want to just play with me with this, you close your eyes. And now just imagine God's source universe above your head, however you see that for you. Maybe it's bright white light, maybe it's golden light. And imagine the energy of Mother Earth below you. And as you breathe in deeply, just imagine the sensation, how it feels. It starts to rain. You can just feel this rain hitting your face. First of all, little sprinkles coming down onto your neck, onto your back. Feeling this sensation. Now you can, as you look up, you can see this light raining down you from source. And as it does, just trust you're safe. You're being cleansed. Even see your auric field, whatever color you see six to 12 inches out from your body, just see that being cleansed. And as it does, become aware of any cords, of any thought bubbles, any aggregates, entities, just consciousnesses, bubbles of energy, just seeing it being washed away. And just say to yourself, with love, return to sender with consciousness attached. You're just giving that energy back. Because of course, when we move through life, we project, we have judgments, we think things about people as well. We give our energy away and put our energy onto other people. So just return the sender of consciousness attached with love. And as that, you just see your energy being filled, that beautiful golden light, breathing that in. See it filling your lungs, see your body completely filled with it. And just see any dark, discordant energy. Just see it being drained away. See Mother Earth taking it, taking it away with pleasure. The same way nature takes carbon dioxide and gives us oxygen. And now as you take your next in-breath in, I want you to imagine... As you breathe in your body, you see energy coming from God's source, universe, down through your crown. And you see energy coming up from Mother Earth. And just seeing this energy meeting in your heart. Each time you breathe in, and each time you see it breathe out, just see your heart expanding with this beautiful energy. This beautiful gold and white energy, whatever you see. And just think about now what you're grateful for. A couple of things, a few things you're grateful for for yourself, with other people, about life, around money, towards your body, towards your home, whatever comes to mind that you're grateful for. And again, just seeing that energy in your heart expanding. And now just asking God, source, universe, spirit, whatever you believe in, higher realms, just ask and be infused with exactly what it is you need. And just invite that energy and just see it coming through your crown, into your heart. And just seeing that energy from your heart expanding now. Like there's a, a sphere, a bubble starting to expand from your heart and enrobe your body. And now just feeling into, if you had an intention for the day, an intention for the day, an intention for the week, or what is your intention what is it you want to call in? What is it you want to feel? What is it you want to experience? And just feeling into let it come into your awareness. You can ask yourself, what am I not available for anymore? Like what am I not available for? People crossing your boundaries. People not seeing your value. What if it's what is you not available for anymore?
Maybe it's just low vibrations, whatever it is. What am I not available for anymore? And just seeing your auric field, just solid with that intention as you feel what it is, your intention for the day, the energy you want to feel, the energy you want to allow into reality, just with the intention of that energy bubble around you now, just declaring that this, this is what I'm available for. This is what I'm allowing into my reality. Okay, whenever you're ready, opening your eyes. And lastly, just to give you a bit more awareness, a bit more understanding, and I can see my cat wants to come inside, so I'll have to open the door in a moment and end this video. This is where I see some people, spiritual people tripping up, is they're going, I'm doing my energy bubble, or I'm doing my cleansing, or I'm only letting high vibe people into my life, or I'm doing the manifestation, I'm doing the visualization, I'm doing the work, whatever it might be. Is that sometimes you get what you need, not what you want. And with when you set an intention, when you put a stake in the ground, like, I want this. If there are things within you, darkness, energies, sub-personalities, aspects of yourself that need to go, that may come up. And maybe someone in your life shows up a certain way because you need to let that person go or you need to understand how they make you feel is from your childhood or you need to assert your boundaries or you need to, take a, you need to show up differently, whatever it might be. So whenever you're setting an intention this way, it's an awareness game. You set an intention, you declare how you want it to be, which will mean you move through life more powerfully and you're less influenced by things that don't matter. But also, you may become more acutely aware of how your ego, your fears, your subconscious is pulling things into reality or is there's still fears, things within you which are attracting these people. And this is the game. This is why as well. It's beautiful and amazing and more powerful to be aware and present when you do this stuff. For example, the first time I started using energy bubbles and things like that, I'd get present and I'd literally see these energies like trying to get in. And I'm like, well, what's going on? What part of me is attracting that? What part of me believes that? When did I first feel that? There's always a reflection. Trust you'll only get given what you can handle, but the more you are aware, the more you do this work, you'll find yourself lighter. You'll find yourself less influenced by other people's energies and all their little thought forms and um, projections and even on a bigger scale, the media and big companies and governments and all these decisions that feel out of our control, they're all influencing us. So do this work so you can be aligned with yourself and feel your truth. But if stuff still comes up, that may mean there is stuff within you to clear. There is stuff to be released. Cord cut, journal, get healings, get the awareness of why this stuff has shown up. But, keep, but the more you do this tool, the more powerfully you can be able to feel what is your truth, what is yours, and be the creator of your reality. Hope that helps. Let me know what you experience. Let me know using this tool. So simple. You can just do it anytime you go on public transport, anytime you drive, at bed at night, multiple times a day. You can literally do it for like 10, 20 seconds. You just get yourself cleansed create it around you, set an intention. Maybe you're going into a noisy environment or going to a dinner party, whatever it might be, you can you can set these parameters. Anytime I go to a club, I love to dance, but the energies in there are terrible most of the time. People are drinking, inviting in bad spirits, people are in bad places. Whenever I go out and I dance, I call in all the angels, I open that space, I set an intention of what I'm willing to allow in. It's just an intention and awareness game. Be in charge of your energy. You have the power to have everything that it is you desire. Let me know below how you experience this. Anything else you'd love me to cover, I would love to hear. And I'll see you in another video.